Hey master number 33 welcome and welcome back to natural nail tarot these are my natural nails and this is tarot i've been telling all the other numbers but i'm no longer doing full readings i'm doing blockages energy coming towards you and advice from spirit with that excuse me being said thank you spirit for being a guardian a guide a protector a teacher for knowing all for seeing all thank you angels for always being around me guiding me loving me supporting me protecting me i greatly appreciate it i expect to bring master number 33's energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, spirit. Okay. Those cards is ready, okay? And I'm going to take these three that just came out. We have intuition. We have spiritual strength. The nine of wands. The intuition is high priestess. Spiritual strength is the nine of wands. Harmony, the lovers. So already a decision that you're having to make, that you're being guided to make, you've been guided to follow something or make this decision. It's been extremely hard for you. It, it feels painful. It feels painful. And you really just want to move on from this mental anguish. But it's your intuition that you're following. And that's honorable. It really is as hard as it can be. Trust me. <laughs> I know as hard as following your intuition can be because it'd be feeling so different from the way you you may have lived your life before or the way you'd see your life right now if you had a choice. <laughs> but um, it's honorable. It's honorable. Okay, let's dig into this a little more. A decision. Having to follow your intuition about a decision. Or the decision to follow your intuition, really. Um, because you're being guided to make a very specific decision. But ultimately, it's the decision to follow your intuition that's um, showing up as challenging. intuition here in blockages we have the ace of swords and the hierophant higher learning um you you know you already know this is what it is this is what you're being guided to do there's no if ands about this you know this is what you're being guided to do like <laughs> you know you've been chosen for this task there's no you feel like there's no way around it. There's no denying it. You've been chosen for this task. The Nine of Wands. I don't want to take all these cards, but I'm going to. We have the King of Wands. The Star. The Four of Swords and the Three of Swords. Spirit is telling you to do something very special very specific but it requires healing it requires forgiveness for you to even pursue this and not to say that you're not haven't been working towards forgiveness or um not capable of forgiving it's just been challenging it's been challenging but i always tell people you don't know love until you know forgiveness which is like the star showing up here um, and blockages you don't know love until you know forgiveness so whatever this very specific very specific task is that you're being guided to follow is creating the most it's, it's just connecting you to your higher self it's allowing you to become your higher self you are it's hard you have said yes to it you've said yes to it but it's been hard to stay committed to it you've said yes to this to this journey why is the lovers here there's victory at the end of this decision 
the decision to follow your intuition, there's victory at the end of it. Spirit wants you to trust, trust, trust what I've shown you, trust what I told you is going to happen. Look, this could definitely be a soulmate connection. This has been showing up a lot and I try not to focus on love, but it's been showing up a lot um, collectively, like just in the universe, having to follow your intuition in regards to soulmate connections. This person could have really hurt you and you you have to forgive this person or you've been on a journey of having to forgive this person and um, Spirit's been trying to heal this union and bring it back together, but you don't like how it feel because the unknown is just, the unknown bothers you. All you know is what Spirit told you to do. You, it's like um, you don't fully trust the outcome. <laughs> Because it feels so crazy. It feels so crazy to, to have to experience this level of forgiveness. But Spirit wants you to trust what Spirit has shown you about this. Energy coming towards you. We have a foundation and achievements, the four of wands, trapped in fear, the eight of swords, and triumphant success, the ace of swords. So I won't say necessarily an opportunity is um, like it, it is the exact timing or the right time to fully dive into whatever this relationship is or whatever this decision is because you do have the trapped in fear here which is um you know your own mental entrapment but i would say explore this fear i would say th this fear that's coming towards you i would say explore it figure out why you're so uh, fearful of something that spirit has shown you because best believe that whatever spirit is telling you is best for you. It is. It's better than what you think is best for you. <laughs> so I would really say explore this, this fear. Why is the four of wands here? We have the page of wands and justice. I don't know if this will get any easier for you, but I know that you will conquer it. With this page of wands, I don't know that it will get easier. It, it'll just be challenging. Um, I mean, hopefully it could, it could ease up a little bit to where it doesn't feel so in this nine of wands energy, um, that wounded warrior energy, but you are definitely able to conquer this a uh, spirit wants you to call in the strength to conquer this it's like um let's say this is about a a spiritual union even if you know that spirit is guiding you towards a specific person you don't necessarily have to focus on that part of it um, focus on calling in the person that's for you. All the things that, um, calling in a person that aligns with you. If you focus on that and not the specific person with this specific name and, um, you know, I'm, I'm not saying like a, a particular person. Call in who's aligned for you. And <laughs> I know that spirit is guiding you to be with this particular person. So this is what, um, even if you've had a past with this person, that a, a hurtful past with this person, whether you know it or not, spirit is developing these things in them, the things that align with you. It's just no way that spirit will guide you towards this. And 
it not be working out on that side. Like um, they not in spirit, not be working on them. No way. Spirit wouldn't uh, push you off of a cliff like that. <laughs> so um, this trapped in fear, what is it? Why is it here? We have the devil and the ten of pentacles. So if you, it's like spirit is saying, if you don't trust your intuition, if you don't trust where spirit is guiding you, then you won't get everything that, that you want. This is, you are being guided to the highest form of being guided. I can't even stress how, how strong it, this, this journey is of you being guided. The fear is what will keep you from your end all be all. Not pursuing your intuition. The fear is what will keep you from it. And this trapped in fear, um, there could be some, some history of like um, people doing you wrong and you wanted to make sure that they don't anymore. But forgiveness is a thing. Forgiveness is truly a thing. The Ace of Swords, why is it here? The Well of Fortune. Divine time. Divine time. This change is happening in divine time. Clarity. Things will be fully revealed to you in divine time. Just trust your intuition. Time is not, you're not running out of it. So you feeling like you following your intuition, you if you feel like you're running out of time or things are not going to happen when you want them to, you're not running out of time. You're not running out. Explore this space of having to follow your intuition. Advice for master number 33. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Invite help is at the bottom of the day. Limitless. See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. So whatever it is that your um, intuition is guiding you towards is going to be beautiful. Trust that it'll be beautiful. Energetic clearing. During crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan so yes um they, I, I get this fear of like um not allowing a person to hurt you again like it, it don't matter if it were in relationships or family or whatever just really stand you stand standing firm on that but forgiveness is a big part of you following your intuition what major arcana do we have for master number 33 we have judgment and the world so uh, this definitely could speak to something being risen from the dead uh, due to your forgiveness and a new beginning, something very new coming into your life, um, into your world. The high priestess is at the bottom of the deck. So intuition is so huge in this. It's so huge in this. Um, step into the power of your intuition is what spirit is trying to have you do. Um, it's going to open up so many other spaces of your life moving forward all right master number 33 that is all that i have for your reading if this resonated please like share comment subscribe and until next time come again